I was noticing something. Look, her hat. If I go to the zoom options here. Oops. If I go to the zoom, except her hat is the same color as the earth here. The things you learn. Okay, so what I did when you guys were away is I took my little gun, my matter manipulator, and I got me some cobblestone because you need cobblestone in order to make one of our most important tools, the pickaxe. So you come to the crafting table, you click the tool button, and you'll see you have stone axe, stone hoe, and a pickaxe. This is for gardening. Whoa, that was a weird noise in my apartment for a second there. I don't know if you guys could hear that at all, but it was like, oh, dude, poison. They shoot poison fire. There's some evil birds. There's some evil birds. Dude, go away. I'm going to be one shot by a bird, dude. All right, if I'm, if I'm going to die, I'm going to snipe this guy. No, you can't do that. Oh, I hit you. What up? Oh, oh, what up, son? What up, son? I'm going for your brother, too. Uh-huh. Give me that meat. Goose. All right, so we're going to make a furnace. Wow, I did not have birds that shot fire at me when on, like, the other planet. Jeez. So my goal to make a furnace is cobblestone, which I have. Notice now we can actually mine. We can start digging underground, which is pretty fun. This is coal. Uh, when you dig underground, though, you will need torches. So um, let me make some bandages. If you guys want to know plant fiber, that's how you get your health back. I remember when this game came out, I watched a review where the guy's like, yeah, it's really hard because there's no way to recover your health. And I'm just like, oh, bro. The internet's going to tear you up for saying that. There's a lot of ways to regenerate health in this game. It's just uh, not apparent. Like, everything in the beginning of the game is very exploratory and creative, which I really like. So I'm going to put my meat away. Take that out. And I want... I already have torches, yes. But I want uh, a few more torches so we can dig a little bit. Close, close. Close, close. Cool. Jump. I had to make that to stop the bird from getting in here. Alright, go. Shoo! Good. Very nice. Crafting table. Furnace. Is that what it's called? Yeah, it's a stone furnace. What are we missing? A bunch of cobblestone. Okay, so we're going to have to break this rock up. Oh, so how are you guys today? Good? I am doing these recordings before my final. But I'm sitting with a really good score in the class. Not too worried. Just would like to get finals done with. And I figured the best way that I could alleviate the... Um, stress the pre-stress it's by sitting and recording and talking to you guys so oh i love the music hello and welcome back sorry for the bit of the cut there i had a little bit of uh a conflict in scheduling i had to finish my finals you know that's always important but now my finals are done i spent a little bit of time here building a basic house and some basic structures I found a furnace and a poster at a temple down the road, and other than that, I have my furnace, crafting table, and anvil, and I'm going to build a distress beacon, and we're going to do that uh, sequence and finish things out. So I need wood planks. That's all I need. So C, and how many wood planks do we need uh, to build this thing? Did it say 100? So we're like 20 away. How much wood do we have? Probably, yeah. So we'll just go look ourselves for a tree uh you can build a basic house like any way you want to but i like it in the meantime i've been streaming this game with diddy and oh, i've been having a really good time with this game like it's a really really fun game i also built an iron uh bow which is really helpful the breath weapon guys here on this planet are kind of a jerk i also built a bit of armor using the anvil i will show you guys how to do all of that as soon as we just get some tree stuff Oh, also, you will notice that the music has returned. Uh, whoa, whoa. That was weird. It, like, alt-tabbed me out of the game. Um, there we go. I turned the music back on. I had no issues with the first video, so, uh, I really like the music in this game, and I would like to... Ooh, whoa. Whoa. We're gonna fight him. And they do give explicit permission on their website for all portions and aspects of the game to be used. I feel like he wasn't going to attack me. 
but he seemed pretty gross. So, yeah, that's a good way to identify people. I need wood. Yes. Make it a meme. Everybody was making fun of that statement tonight on the stream. I guess it does. There's a lot of innuendo you could come out with this game and stuff, but I'm kind of really loving this game. Like, I got a gun on my main character today, flew to a specific, like, planet, ran to a specific town, spoke to the gun dealer, and got new weapons, which was really cool. I saw some stream gameplay of people, like, on freaking star stations, with houses, like, on star stations, in space, like, houses like this, and it's like, whoa, and, like, way cool houses, so I'm really looking forward to delving deeper into this game. I don't know why. It's like very, it's just charmful. All right, we got the wood planks. Now we need to just craft. That's more than I need. What about that? Is that it? Beacon? Yep. There it is. So with the beacon, oh, oh, it didn't play the, I love the song that it plays when it's quest complete. Uh, hit inventory. Cool thing is if you shift click something, it'll just immediately click it out of your inventory. Pretty nice beacon and there should be I need to cook the food before I leave and have food so because I get hungry I don't know about you guys but I get hungry pretty regularly cook the two extra food take the food and cool let's do this yep it worked okay now things get fun and the penguins have arrived the penguins that shoot guns. And now it's a bow fight. So I would be lying if I said this fight surprised me. Because I've done this now like three times. Four times, I think. So the bow has a little sweet spot where it flashes. If you can fire it like while it's flashing, that is really important. And also I need to take out these little penguin guys. And this is why I had bandages before the fight starts, because it's kind of a hard boss if you don't have bandages. But we'll get him down, don't worry. Sometimes the bow has, like, a really weird feel to it. Like, it takes a second for it to cock back. Maybe it's because it's just a slower, not, like, the nicest bow, but... And... Come here! Come here! Hang on. They're so cute. There's a little penguin who's actually, like, driving it. Do you see? And boo. Pop. It's funny because, like, the launcher for the game is a penguin. I think it has to do with their company. Like, that's all I can think. Chucklefish, I guess, is the company. Look at the little guy in the tank. I'm having issues here. There's mechs in this game, by the way, too. I don't know if I neglected to tell that, but there are mech suits in this game. Oh, yeah, we're getting them down. This makes me excited uh, to think about, like, the potential boss encounters in the full game release, because although this is just, like, very, very early beta, I, I really like the idea of having narrative events in this very sandbox-like world where... Oh, these guys are jerks. The ones who shoot those. Just the concepts for boss encounters, making this not only like a game where you're exploring and searching, but a game that is um, fun to play in a platformer way. It's not just uh, go collect things, because I will... Games like Minecraft do, for me, not hold my attention as well. Uh, as games, other games, that's what we needed was the Molten Core. So. We'll see if this game keeps its charm. So far, it's been, like, really fun. I've, I've got about 15 hours in the game on two characters now, so. He's just backing up. I don't really need to worry about that tank anymore. But I got what I came here for, which is the Molten Core. And I will show you guys what we can build with that. Why it's important. And then I will say adieu until the next episode. So, take your anvil. Go up to your ship. And I think I need a crafting table. So, maybe I'm going back down. I think I need, yeah. And we're looking right here for this metal workstation. I'm gonna hit craft. And then once I have my metal workstation, go back up to the ship, 
put my metalwork station up here. And you're looking for this right here, the Star Map Upgrade MK2. You need a few pixels, 450 pixels, and five iron bars. We're going to craft this. Push the button. There we go. Okay. And now we have it here in our inventory. If you equip it with the six button, and then we walk over here, and we left click, uh, Star Map has been updated. New data has been uploaded to your ship's navigation system. Select the beta sector from the top of the navigator in the galaxy view. What does this mean, guys? We can fly our ship. We can explore the galaxy. We can go to new places and adventure. The only thing we need, though, is fuel. And you can fuel your ship with coal. So if I take some coal and stick it in here, you'll see I fueled it just a little bit. Uh, wood, but wood doesn't fuel things very well. So we'll need a lot of coal to drive our spaceship around the world. On that note, though, you guys, I hope you have a really good holiday break. I'm going to be posting more of this over the break, some Halo, some Battlefield, and hopefully a lot of fun stuff. So thanks for chilling out with me, and I hope your starboarding goes well. I'll see you next time. Peace out.